I, I got to ask you, first of all, why would any, I know it's a free app. Why, what, what's the point of having that on your phone just to send, yo, I can just, I can just do an iMessage, say yo. What's the point of having the app? Well, first of all, Allison, yo, 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 how are you? <laughs> Good morning. Look, it's just that simple way when you want to communicate with somebody and just say, kind of, I'm on the way home, or I just want to let you know I'm around. One button you push on this app, and all it says is, yo. Like that, that's it, there's nothing else. And people, remember when people thought Twitter was so ridiculous because it was only 140 characters as opposed to Facebook, which lets you go on and on. Yo, no characters, that's it, you push the button. But a lot of people say that there's a real need for this, that sometimes people to avoid a text message fee, especially in emerging markets, that all they do is call up somebody and hang up because it doesn't charge them. So this would solve all of that. Okay, okay, so it was hacked um, over the past few days. Is it safe to use again? So if I want to go ahead and download it, am I going to be at risk? So two researchers at Georgia Tech down at CNN, uh, near CNN headquarters in Atlanta were able to hack the app. They were able to send people yo messages from other people's accounts. They were were able to get people's phone numbers because this is all registered with your phone number and they were even able uh, to get other people's contacts so I could log in and see uh, some of your contacts. Uh, the creator of the app now says that it's been fixed and it's uh, all working safe and sound again. He says no passwords hacked according to him. Okay so you know many would say that this app is ridiculous. That, <laughs> that could, could this be proof of let's say another bubble happening just just with the app industry. <laughs> it seems like there's a big split in the tech world. Half the people say this just shows you there's too much money out there that you can create whatever you want. They've raised 1.2 million dollars. On the other hand, you have very influential people. For example, Mark uh, Andreessen, who's a legendary venture capitalist. Take a look at what he said. He said there's lots of mirth, which means amusement, if English is your second language, <laughs> lots of mirth over yo, but there's a fascinating aspect. Lots of people are missing. Yo is an instance of one bit communication, a message with no content other than the fact that it exists, yes or no, yo or no yo. And I think he's really tapping into the fact that there are people out there, like I told you about, who are looking for ways for just one call sometimes they use to avoid the fee, one push communication. And so, look, he's legendary and he's saying that they're onto something here. So what some people say is ridiculous, this could just be the first step towards something bigger that maybe we can't maybe fathom right now. And of course, if it is maybe eaten up by another company, if some other company acquires this, of course, Facebook has tried to duplicate other apps like Snapchat and had no success doing it. So maybe a Twitter or a Facebook comes in, grabs this app and says, yo. Like a, and a WhatsApp comes to mind as well. Exactly, WhatsApp, who would have thought that it was going to be worth $19 billion? Now, right. none of the analysts I'm talking to think that this app is going to be worth $19 billion, but it could have some type of small value to another company and maybe a lot bigger than any of us have ever thought. Okay, Samuel, you know what? Since you said it's safe, I'm going to take your word for it. I'm going to download it. I'm going to send your messages to you all day. Let's see if you still like it. Oh, uh, well, we'll <laughs> see about that. Thanks so much.